Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The National Archives of France has posted an atlas from 1556, and it would be all right if it were not for a number of strange details. The atlas has a fairly detailed map of Antarctica, not only without the ice shell, but it is also connected to Eurasia and marked with river channels. The very fact that the mainland outlines of the southern continent were drawn before 1556 is thought-provoking. In the Primorsky region, Chistovodnoya village, there is a park of dragons, or city of dragons, a natural rock park of amazing and monumental stone formations. It is very difficult and probably impossible to imagine that in a granite monolith by natural way, weathering or any other way the nature managed to leave a mark like this imprint of a human foot, its eyes is almost human height, more than 1.5 meters. Savoy village, Ural. The building stands on the backfilled ruins of an older structure. You can see that the ancient brick layers were discovered quite recently during some excavations. It does not look like the plinth of the structure above. The wall is not flush with the walls on the surface. The mysterious entrance to the Sphinx. The four UR photos, one of which was taken during the restoration of the Sphinx in 1926, and the other one today. In the photo, you can clearly see that there is a hatch on the head of the Sphinx, which was covered with brickwork and hidden. Another mystery left to us by official history. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. A model of an unknown city in stone. There are many mysteries with this find. A unique thing for ancient times. A real 3D model of an ancient city. And scientists have not been able to determine what kind of city it depicts. At the moment, almost everything connected with this find remains a mystery. There is no mention of the layout in ancient sources, its age is impossible to determine what city it depicts too. The layout is carved from granite, and this indicates the great capabilities of its creators, for it requires appropriate tools for processing. The question remains, and how the ancient Indians were able to depict the city in volumetric model. To achieve such accuracy, it is necessary to look at the city from a great height, and for this, you need equipment. Did the ancient Indians have such knowledge? If so, where did they come from? And if not, then who built this model, when, and for what purpose? The first artifacts on the territory of Mexico began to be found around the middle of the last century, since then their number has exceeded 30,000 pieces. 
Among the Mexican finds, you can find such an abundance of different flying equipment, which are made with high detail. The most surprising thing is, that most of the artifacts depict fantastic pictures, going against the official versions of history. Maybe that's why scientists are studiously ignoring them. As taught in school, it is believed that humans appeared 2.6 million years ago, and the dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. In other words, according to the official science, humans and dinosaurs could not meet, but the facts say otherwise. History itself states that ancient people did not do archaeology and excavations because they did not have the necessary knowledge, tools, etc. But then how to explain many Ba's reliefs, images, and references to dinosaur species with the same appearance as if they had been seen in reality? If ancient people did not see dinosaurs and at the same time did not excavate to find their remains, recreating the exact appearance of the ancient creatures, how could they depict and describe them? The water distribution system dating back nearly five millennia was found in the Persian castle of Baraujard in Iran. An excellent system of aqueducts, clay pipes and vessels, although, by all accounts, it should not have existed at all in those days. The funny thing is that this ingenious and innovative technology was lost, then rediscovered by the Romans, forgotten again until the 13th to 15th centuries, until in the 19th century the plumbing gradually became a citywide norm. According to the all-knowing Wikipedia, the Sahara began to turn into a desert about 5,000 years ago. And lo and behold, in all the centuries no one has noticed geoglyphs up to several hundred meters in size, and traces of star forts scattered over the Sahara. Just a year ago, information appeared about 21,000 geoglyphs scattered across the Sahara. Some researchers have already stated that they cannot be created by man simply because there is no one to create them in such numbers in this lifeless area. Even now, the task is almost impossible. But it is worth looking at maps before the 17th century, where forests are green and rivers flow, and the idea of the lifelessness of the region becomes questionable. And if there are cities, it means there was a civilization which could create these objects. Everything is simple, but it is worth a little move the official dating. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.